Hello, my name is Trevor from Telecom Training and today we're going to be talking about Line of Sight Internet. Line of Sight Internet is a wireless service used to get high speed internet to rural households who do not have access to the traditional wired services like DSL or cable. Some ISBs are starting to use wireless services to get their high speed internet service to remote areas. I'll use this example here to show you exactly how that works. Here we have an internet signal of 50 megabits per second coming from your ISP. They're using a DSL line to get that signal to the base station. Now this DSL line is connected to a router. Now at this point if you wanted to you can connect a computer to this router and get onto the internet but that's not our purpose. Our purpose is to get it to the remote location. How this is done is that your, your router sends out a digital signal. We're going to modulate that signal with a microwave frequency. Uh, I just picked 2.4 gigahertz to use as an example. I could have picked any microwave frequency. I just choose to use 2.4 gigahertz. Now this analog frequency and this digital frequency are merged together in order to come up with a modulated signal that looks like this. How this is done is that the digital signals are zeros and ones. The zeros being the low and ones being the high. Uh, the digital signal manipulate your analog signal to arrive at a modulated signal. And how this is done, starting with the zero, which would change this analog signal to a zero that looked like this. This modulated signal is now a zero. When this digital signals go to one, which is the high part, this modulated signal go to one. When the digital signal comes back to zero, the modulated signal follow the digital signal. And this continue all along from one back to zero, and from zero back to one and this is basically how we arrive at a modulated signal that look much like the digital signal while this modulated signal is sent out of the modem on the coaxial cable going towards the antenna now along with this modulated signal on the coaxial cable we also have power uh, there's a voltage that's put on the coaxial cable in order to power this feeder antenna. This feeder antenna faces the parabolic antenna which is the metal surface here. The electrical signal which is your modulated uh, signal is converted to an electromagnetic signal by the feeder antenna and it radiates that signal in a waveform which is then reflected off the parabolic antenna into the air. This is what the reflection looks like. It looks like the beam of a flashlight and this beam doesn't expand any more than 45 degrees maximum. And the reason I mention 45 degrees is because I want to show you this. This is a base station and you have more than one parabolic dish on this base station. I just want to show you that the same frequency can be transported from the same base station numerous times without any frequency interference. Because these beams are so narrow, there won't be any interference. So you can transmit the same frequency to many different subscribers at the same time without having to worry about interference. Now when your modulated frequency reaches the parabolic antenna, it is reflected off the metal parabolic antenna and is received by the feeder antenna. The feeder antenna would convert your electromagnetic signal back to an electrical signal and send it down the coaxial cable to the modem. When the modem receives that signal, it will demodulate that signal. Basically, it looks at the modulated signal zeros and ones here as you can see them 
and it will see this area as a zero and this area as a one and it will demodulate this signal back to the original digital signal and that digital signal would be sent out to the Wi-Fi router so that your local area network could receive the internet signal. Now we have talked about data coming from the internet to your local area network. Now what will happen now if one of the users here want to get onto the internet, like they want to get onto a particular website, they brought up a browser, type the, the browser information in and hit enter. Now what will happen is that this modem would detect that someone here wants to get onto a website and they will and this modem would be switched to transmit mode to get that information over but remember that this modem here is already in the transmit mode trying to send data from the internet and you only have one frequency so you only have one path for data to travel which is half duplex you don't have two paths just one so both the transmit from both directions both the transmit from the internet to the subscriber and transmitting from the subscriber back to the internet has to use the same frequency so they have to share this path so that's why it's referred to as half duplex so how that is done this modem going to transmit if this modem here is transmitting you're going to have collisions so what they use is something called GPS synchronization as you can see here there's a yellow cable here going back to a GPS antenna if you look over here this yellow cable goes to GPS antenna as well so these two antennas communicate to with a GPS satellite so when you try to send from this modem here this modem goes into the transmit mode and it sends that information to the GPS satellite the GPS satellite would then relay that information to this modem changing this modem to receive so now you have a transmit path from transmit to receive now when this modem here wants to transmit from taking data from the internet back to the subscriber this modem would automatically go in a transmit alerting the satellite that you want to transmit to this location so the satellite would change this modem from transmit to receive so that you can have a flow of information this way so this will continue happening switching back and forth and this is called half duplex as I said before now there's another way that this can be done is that by using two frequencies here and I'll explain to you next how that is done now if you use two frequencies between base stations one frequency would be used to transmit from the base station to the remote end and the other frequency would be used to transmit from the remote back to the base station you wouldn't require any GPS synchronization because you have two frequencies and there's no need to switch and you would also find that the line would be faster because you don't have to worry about the switching time in between um, of course you'll be using two different frequencies so this modem here for instance will have one frequency that would that it will have to modulate and send towards the line here and this modem over here would have a different frequency that it would be modulating sent towards the line so this side would have one modulated frequency being sent and this side would be having a different modulated frequency being sent this way just like the way I showed you in the beginning how we modulate the frequency well this frequency would demodulate this end and then it will be demodulated at this end so it's the same thing it's just that we're using two different frequencies now instead of just one frequency I hope this video has been helpful to you and if you'd like to see more videos like this one please don't forget to click on the subscribe button below so that you'll be alerted as soon as our new videos are released. My name is Trevor from Telecom Training. Thank you for watching.